Welcome back, everyone. Here's the truth. Great leadership is learned. It is a lifelong process of recognizing skill gaps and finding resources to close them. The CEO program at Muskoka Woods is one such resource, and here to tell us about it and help us understand why leadership skills are important for kids to develop is Dr. Karen Gordon and Chris Tompkins. Hello, hello, welcome. So happy to have you back in oh, studio thanks, with us. Yes. So good. So Karen, talk to me about the philosophy of leadership. So leadership is a huge topic. The way that I look at it, it is not based on a title. Mm -hmm. It is not a role. You can be a 10-year-old leader. You can be a 50-year-old leader. So it is about a mindset. It's about your attitude and how that actually translates into your actions. And so that's why I'm so passionate to really teach it to really all ages. Yes, and this is yes. your this is your your, this is my your thing. sweet spot. This is, this is my niche. This is what I yeah. love it. And I love it because it's learned, yeah. Tracy. This is not something that's genetic, it is learned. And that's I love why that. I'm just so passionate about it. It's empowering to know that as well. Yes. So that means we can all learn this. We can all this learn is it. stuff we can do. So yeah. Chris, you lead the CEO leadership program at Muskoka Woods. When children undergo a leadership experience, describe the transformation for me. You know, how does it change? the kid that came to camp versus the mm. kid at the end of the program. Do you see a difference? Yeah, and I, for teens and adolescents in particular, the big questions they're wrestling with are, who am I, yes. where do I belong, and what kind of contribution I can make to the world? And so intentional leadership programs, like the CEO program we have at Muskoka Woods, really set the table for kids to navigate and wrestle through those questions. Mm -hmm. And so what we generally see is after they come for a four-week program, mm -hmm. we see kids come away with a greater knowledge of who they are, their unique skills and talents. Yeah. They get a better understanding of others and uh, what they bring to the table. Yeah. They grow in their awareness of um, different things about the world around them, and they develop deepened relationships with the people, uh, many of them who are counselors or caring adults who are kind of facilitating their growth. And so at the end of all this, what you really see is a greater confidence yeah. in who they are, their identity, mm -hmm. the things they bring to this world, and how they want to help make the world a better place, which is really what leadership is all about right. at the end of the day. And I like that you describe it that way, because a lot mm -hmm. of people think a leader is the person at the top of the hierarchy, right. and they're right. making the decisions, and they're banging their fists on the table. Yeah. It's like, no, leadership is actually about figuring out who you are, as you say, yes. Chris, and how the whole world works around you, that self-awareness and awareness of everything around you is key because all of that feeds into confidence, That's right. which is the essential ingredient that you need. So let's get into leadership a little bit more, uh, Doc. What are the various facets of leadership skills that kids need to learn? So I love how Chris said it's around, it really kind of starts with understanding who you are. Mm -hmm. So it starts with self-awareness. And mm -hmm. so leadership, again, huge umbrella. We focus on emotional intelligence. So we call it the five core skills, what we call cards. Yeah. So everybody at home, think about yourself. How would you kind of rate yourself according to these five core skills? Yeah. Uh, cards, uh, so C stands for your communication skills, your ability to give and receive feedback. Yeah. A uh, stands for your attitude and goal setting skills, your ability to set meaningful goals that are important to you. Mm -hmm. R stands for your relationship skills, your ability to build relationships successfully with other people. D stands for your decision-making skills and time management. A lot of people don't think about time management is actually part of it, but it is. Yep. And S stands for your stress and energy and emotion management skills, your ability to kind of really manage yourself. Yeah. So those are the kind of five core skills. We have free scorecards on our website to kind of help people kind of start the, the process around assessing yourself. How am I doing according to those kind of five, five core skills? And then programs like Muskoka Woods kind of like take this and then just give it an opportunity and experience for people to assess themselves and then actually to start developing it and that's the power of it that's it's learning good. it it's learning it and then discussing it and then starting to apply it mm -hmm. yes. it's in the application of the skill not just intellectually but it's also good to have that yardstick that resource yes. so you can actually check in and these are these are sort of soft skills that we don't yes. think about as measurable quantifiable and things and you yes. can you can measure yeah. it and then you can set a goal for yourself like you know what I give myself a seven out of ten in this category I want yeah. to get to a nine mm. yes yes okay oh, so I have a funny yeah. story about that just really quickly <laughs> my daughter had to do an analysis of a celebrity so she chose me. I was like, so oh. I was so happy. <laughs> but the analysis was intelligence, bravery, charisma. She gave me no intelligence and all charisma. <laughs> I go, Ava, really? And she was so proud. She showed me the card. I'm like, but you said I'm not intelligent. Yeah. She's like, yeah, but you're charisma. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, I would give myself a few more scores in the intelligence, but back to you, Chris. Yeah. Tell us a bit more about how the CEO 
CEO program will implement some of the skills sure. that Dr. Karen is talking about. Well, the CEO program stands for challenge, yeah. experience, opportunity, and we help young people become mm -hmm. the CEOs yes. of their own lives. Okay. So that challenge, experience, and opportunity comes around intentional structure in the program. So in the mornings, they'll participate in uh, experiential learning mm -hmm. and really engaging workshops where our guest speakers have all these skills come to life. Mm -hmm. And then they get to put them into practice later on in the day mm -hmm. uh, as they navigate the camp experience. But there's a couple things that's unique about camp and leadership programs. Number one, they have role models that they can look to. And so right. from their counselors to the other camp leaders, as they get involved in running programs and helping uh, alongside camp, they get to see leadership in action and they have direct access to our leaders. So they get to see these skills actually played out. And then the other thing is real life responsibility. Mm -hmm. You can't really develop as a leader just intellectually. Right. You have to right. put it into practice. Yeah. And so we provide opportunities for kids to come alongside and instruct uh, activities alongside our staff. Then they get to plan an activity, a program for hundreds of kids from yeah. start to finish. They volunteer in other camp um, areas uh, in hospitality and nice. running our opening day. And so they really get to put this into practice in real life responsibility. That is mm. so good. Mm. Before we go, Karen, tell us a bit about how we as parents can instill leadership oh, through well, our kids. I just loved everything that he just said. I'm so a good. huge fan. I'm a huge fan of this yes. camp and this program. I've, I've done lots of work with them over the years. It's just, it's a game changer. It's a game changer because the uh, the application. Yes. As parents, what can we do? We can basically learn these five skills mm. and then model it. Mm. Right. Kid, like, the kids and teenagers do not want to see hypocrisy. They want to nope. see us model it for them. And so that is just a couple of takeaways for parents. I, I know you work at the, you work at Muskoka Woods mm -hmm. as well. You deal, you, you love dealing with teenagers. Love it. And I yeah. know you also know, your boys, how old are they? They're 15. They're 15. They're really good at calling us out. <laughs> so if you're not modeling it, they That's will right. let you know. That's like, right. even if you're gossiping yes. on the phone with a friend, my yes. kids, they're listening to that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, so is that a real friend or is that not a real friend? Mm -hmm. And you're teaching them That's how right. to have relationships. So yes. you got to model the behavior you want to yes. see in your kids. Uh, Dr. Karen, you actually just did a TED Talk for kids and their parents to watch together. It's blown up. It's called Why Confidence is the Secret to Great Leaders at Work and Home watch it everyone we've put a link on our website to that video uh, as well as how you can find out more about the ceo leadership program at muskoka woods congratulations to you for that thank brilliant you. and thank you so much chris no for joining us thank it was you. great let's go to break more coming up. <laughs>